What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Thursday, November 1st. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm gonna go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the Draft Dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay, let's see who we have at point guard. I like Damian Lillard for the Portland Trailblazers facing the New Orleans Pelicans, who are the fifth worst defense overall and give up the absolute most fantasy points to opposing point guards. Damian Lillard has scored 37, 22, and 62 fantasy points in the last three games, averaging 46.6 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 34 minutes per game. He only played 27 minutes last game, so he's gonna be fresh versus a tired New Orleans Pelicans team who battled the Golden State Warriors all night last game. Every player played heavy minutes. This is gonna be a fast paced game for Damian Lillard at home versus a bad Pelicans defense who's tired. Damian Lillard gets a 31% usage rate. He should have no problem hitting his value getting 50 fantasy points tonight. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30 day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all our DFS tools for NFL and the tools for NBA are awesome. This is a great time to get in and try everything for one month. The tools are all about saving research time. You can see the last three games, the fantasy points per game, the targets they got per game, so you can see how involved they are in the offense, the rushes they got per game. Seeing all this stuff on one screen helps you save time and make better picks. Okay, let's see who we have at shooting guard position. I like Buddy Hyde for the Sacramento Kings versus the Atlanta Hawks, who are the third worst defense overall and give up the fifth most fantasy points to opposing shooting guards. Buddy Hyde has scored 46, 47, and 33 DraftKings has scored 46, 47, and 33 fantasy points in his last three games, outperforming his average of 32 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 32 minutes with a 23% usage rate. Buddy Hyde is just playing out of his mind right now. It's gonna be a fast paced game and Hyde will need about 32 fantasy points to hit five times value. That's right around his season average. And if he can continue this hot streak, you're gonna crush value and open up some salary at other positions. Oh, wait a minute, Buddy Healed. Buddy Healed. Buddy Healed, Buddy Hyde. You know who I'm talking about. Okay, let's take a look at the small forward position. I like Antoine Moore for the New Orleans Pelicans versus the Portland Trailblazers who give up the absolute most fantasy points to opposing small forwards. Antoine Moore has scored 34, 23, and 15 fantasy points in his last three games, averaging 23.4 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 32 minutes per game. Antoine Moore is really coming into his own. He always seems to be on the floor getting rebounds, scoring, and now hitting the three ball, shooting like 45 plus percent this year. At 4,300 DraftKings salary and only 100 more on FanDuel, Antoine Moore only needs like 22 fantasy points to get over five times value. He did play last night. He should be fine for plenty of minutes tonight. Plug in Antoine Moore as one of your cheaper plays so you can save salary for other positions. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $100 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won, and then we'll send you $100 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, let's take a look at the power forwards. I like Marcus Morris for the Boston Celtics facing the Milwaukee Bucks who are about middle of the pack defending power forwards. Marcus Morris has scored 30, 31, and 38 fantasy points in the last three games, averaging 27 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 25 minutes, which looks to be increasing the past three games. He's played 30, 24, and 29 minutes per game with a 22% usage rate. At 5,100 DraftKings salary and 400 less on FanDuel. What a great FanDuel play. Marcus Morris only needs 25 points to hit five times value. If he puts up another 30 plus fantasy points, which I think he can do tonight, you're gonna be in good shape. Okay, moving on to the center position. 
I like Steven Adams for the Oklahoma City Thunder facing the Charlotte Hornets, who give up the ninth most fantasy points to opposing centers. Steven Adams has scored 43, 0, and 24 fantasy points his last three games. He took a game off, he came back last game, played 37 minutes, scored 43 fantasy points. He's averaging 37.7 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 35 minutes per game with a 17% usage rate. At 7,300 DraftKings salary and 200 more on FanDuel, Steven Adams will need about 35 fantasy points to hit five times value. It's a somewhat risky play here. You could go Julius Randle on the back-to-back -back, hoping maybe he gets more minutes. That's a decent play in what should be a high-scoring game. Outside of Nikolai Jokic, who's on a back-to-back, -back, I'm going to stay away from that. He went into overtime. And Joel Embiid, who looks pretty good, but you got to pay up 10000 salary. And Anthony Davis on the back-to-back, -back, I'm not going to go there. So there's a $3,000 salary difference between Steven Adams and Joel Embiid. I'm going to play both of them in some lineups and see what happens. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for week 9. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.